So yesterday I was uh, able to get one of these Anarchy rails from a guy named Kent Rush. I got it from a friend of mine named Dan. And then we also, um, I went to a place called SS Precision that's owned by Michael Vesperman. And he uh, machined the inside of my buttstock to make this part wider so that I could balance my rifle along with this um, anarchy rail. Look at that, I finally got this balance. I've been running it butt heavy all season long. I've had a few friends that have been uh, running it balance. So I figure I might as well jump along and run my rifle balance instead of uh, being at a disadvantage. Um, so here it is. Hey guys, we have here a Voodoo that's well balanced, chamber's clear. This was not always like this. Getting these uh, Voodoos to balance, or these 22s, rather it's uh, a little bit more challenging than a center fire because the barrels on these things are shorter and lighter than the center fire. Um, this one is a 22 inch MTU contour. So for the most part, last season, I was running it butt heavy, but I finally got around to getting it balanced. Um, if you ask me, did I have any problems with it not being balanced? Well, I did pretty well last season with my rifle uh, being mostly butt heavy. So um, I think it's still mostly the shooter, but this season I decided to get my rifle to balance and maybe get that slight bit of advantage, hopefully, and can turn into extra points. Um, so I got this thing finally balanced. I added this uh, Anarchy brass rail from Can't Rush. This weighs a pound and three ounces. Um, and I can adjust it up and down along the, uh, the on shits rail of the foundation stocks. I also added 12 of these cylinder lead plates uh, i got this from a local friend of mine named uh, john so i put uh, 12 of these lead weights inside of the fore end of the stock which gives me a little bit over a pound more in weight so a pound and three ounces and another a little bit over a pound of weights inside the fore end i went ahead and asked one of my friends named michael he owns a shop it's called ss precision he uh, took off some um, some material from inside of the buttstock to make it a little bit lighter. He took off maybe like four or five ounces. So as you can see, it's pretty balanced. And you want that balance to be right there in front of the magua. I ended up uh, purchasing one of these light cheek pieces with this machined out. I got it from uh, John Kyle. Uh, before before it was just this big block of thing but this one's I think three or four ounces lighter as well so uh, that keeps it from being butt heavy This is everybody. This is uh, Michael with SS Precision. So what are we doing here, Michael? Uh, we are lightening the back of this buttstock for this gentleman. Yeah. Uh, to see if we get enough weight out of it for him. Sweet. Hopefully, that's enough. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I think we'll enough. check it out. I don't think I can go any deeper here. This is probably about the maximum that we can get out of it. Yeah, that's perfect. Are you wanting? 
Um, up that more to get maybe, some more, but maybe I don't sure, know. yeah. Maybe if if we're able to get like we won't get out of it, but we can get it back some more. I don't know how yeah. much more you're wanting out of it. Let's see, maybe like up to here, up to there. Yeah, we can do that. I don't think it's gonna hurt to stop. It's balanced. Look at that, Michael. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate yes, sir. It. How heavy is your rig? Uh, you this is about. It? Oh man, I did. I think right now it's a uh, nineteen and a half, maybe, maybe twenty. So as you guys can see over here, the rifle is pretty balanced. Um, right there, right in front of the mag. Well, this prevents me from having to fight with the rifle. If I'm, if I'm free of recoiling, which I tend to just load my shoulder onto the rifle anyway. Um, but if I'm free of recoiling a little bit, it keeps me from having to fight with the rifle. Keeps me from having to push it forward, so to speak. And that increases my stability and should result in more impacts, um, especially in those low kneeling and high awkward positions. So um, this is not a replacement for good fundamentals. And obviously you don't need to have your rifle balance to shoot well um, and to place high if you have good fundamentals and you load your uh, you load your body onto the rifle well or having the rifle balance should not be a replacement for good fundamentals so uh, thank you guys for uh, watching this video I know I've been posting a lot of uh, gear reviews um, I'm gonna try to get some more range videos match videos um, I've been haven't shot since the PRS finale so uh, but I plan on shooting a match uh, this weekend at Jacob's Plain uh, it's a New Year's match, January 1st. So I'm planning on filming that one. Hopefully I could get you guys some more range video. Well, see you guys later.